This video is brought to you by Mel Hamilton Ford. As ladies and gentlemen, into our missing man, we leave that top position in memory of Red. Because he grinds so fine. We honor coffee here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. At Creek County Speedway, it's time to rise to your feet. It's time to make some noise because, ladies and gentlemen, the adrenaline flies when they go three wide with the Sooner Region of the American Sprint Car Series. It's showtime. Ooh, bouncing them around over in turns one and two. We'll get one on inside. That's Moran in 22. Red light's going to come on. Look, Gary, he's done for this event. As off at turn number four, we'll try it again. We're underway. And Zach Chappell launches off of the top of turns one and two. That'll bring the caution lights on. A little bit of a rough go trying to get this one going. Off at turn number four. To the green. Morgan going to bring him into turns one and two of the field. Going to try to make it to the back straight away. They will do so now. Sorted out in the turns three and four. It'll be Morton leading a lap for one. Clark running in the second spot. Moore running in third right now. It will be the triple seven of Hughes and the seven in the chance. Morton chasing the back straight away. Problems with the 22. Trying to keep it going now. Going to go ahead and exit stage right. Moran done early here at Green County Speedway. Now. More than the AM, the Johnny Herrera tuned in, trade leading in this one. He'll open it up to about 1.185 seconds over the $9 and Kyle Clark runs in second, Jeff Miller running in third, and he's running in fourth, Chance Morton running in fifth, and over the 55 of Brandon Anderson running in sixth, he'll be stopped by the 52 of Blake Hahn. Hahn not able to get the run, look to the inside of three and four. Not enough room to make it happen though, he will ride in the seventh position, Sean McClellan. He will run in eight, running in nine to Steve Chavester. Ryan Tins are now running into your top ten. Keep your eye on the 23 inch. Driver coming out of the B main. Had the chemical problems at the start of the night. Obviously, that problem rectified as he tries to march his way through the running order. The idea of Ryan Tim started deep in this one as well. Started 13, trying to pick some positions. As your leaders in the traffic. As they work on lap number four now, going to have to start doing some moves here. As they'll have Kyle Clark closing back to the bottom, had almost a second half. It's down to here, car links as they work into turns one and two. Eight laps completed. Clark right there, just not able to get the run as they work into turns three and four. Clark running down to the bottom side of the speedway. Clark going to step out the exit of turn number four, loses some ground to the AM. As Moisture coming back on the racetrack. Oh, Kyle Clark just climbed the wall in the back straightway. Kyle Clark hard into the wall on the back straightway, and that's going to bring him to a stop just inside turn number three. Caution light's going to come on. Nine laps completed. Cade Morton in the eight brings him back to life. We'll try the bottom of the restart. Wasn't able to get there quick enough. Pass behind them. The seven of a chance. Morton challenged by the 55 B of Brandon Anderson. Able to use the 90 of Lance North as a big lap car. Sticking down on the bottom of the racetrack. Everybody else starting to make their way by as they work to the back side of the speedway. Ryan Sims coming into the 87 of Sean McClellan. Looks at the bottom in the entrance of three. The 90 is there. They'll ride his tire tracks and come around the front straightway. McClellan now going to look top side as they work into turn 22 to try to clear the lap car. Is up front. In clean there. Cade Morton is gone. Advantage 1.166 seconds right now. Jeffrey Hill running in the second spot. Bailey used to running a third chance for him. He's got all kinds of company on his back bumper. They're slamming hard on the door, but they're not able to keep it wide open. Brandon Anderson, the 55, the 52 of Blake Hahn, and the 23 inch of Steven Shevester. All right there, Shevester coming after the 52. That'll be the battle for the sixth position. Hahn able to hold it for the time being. The 23 X there to his inside as they work around in the front straightway. And still to Hahn in the same group company, number 52. Shevester running at seven, but Cleland in eight. Ryan Tim's Fred Maddox, your top ten. Back in the traffic we go. A big point coming up on the 22 C of Charlie Brunton. He'll clear him to the bottom of the entry of turns at three and four. Coming up across flags, halfway done, halfway home. The caution or a red flag arises now. There is no time given in the work area. As Newell trailing 1.234 seconds. Now has a lap car between he and the leader as they work around in the front straightway. Still 
Brighton in that third spot. James Moore playing the fourth. And Bailey with a problem in terms of one and two. Bobbled a little bit. And that'll do it for the 7M. Oh, she slammed the cushion hard and turns three and four. Let's two more get by. That'll put the 7M up in the third spot. Anderson up in the fourth. And Blake Mons going to crack the top five. Bailey Hughes going to get shuffled back to 16. And Shevester now going to work on the triple seven in the 23 right now. Running that seventh spot. But Cullen and Tim's and Max still your top ten. As your leader. As for breathing room here, Newell so far not able to clear the 22C. Having trouble clearing the lap cars. They look at the turn 22. Now he's able to get it done. And right as Morton's car got all kinds of tight, red lights are going to come on. Car on its side at the exit of turn number four. Red lights come on. 15 laps completed. We go back to green. Newell trying to make quick work of the 22 to see if he can do anything with the race leader battle behind them. Now the 52 of Blake Hahn stepping top shelf now works by the 55B. Looking to go by the 7M. He's got a two for one deal off of the fourth turn. Blake Hahn up into the third spot. He's looking for more. He's testing off. Waters on the high side now. Ran up on the 12 and Newell wasn't able to get the run. Newell right now going to keep him at bay as Charlie Crumpton holding him up. As they work around to the back straightaway. Here comes Hahn to the outside. He'll dive to the inside of the 22, get a short slide him. He'll make quick work of Crumpton. and Crump to just about got him setting into the wall. That's going to open the door for drivers to make their way by. Oh, contact, Crumpton. Got her skyward off of the top of turns one, and Sue going to bring the caution out. Here we go. That's the pace as he comes around to complete lap number 23. On chasing to the back straightaway. Newell might climb to 55. We got the 7 m so your top five. Gold drivers up on the cushion at the exit of turn number four. That'll be the quick point around the Green County Speedway now. On chasing everybody sleeping on the bottom. He found the top to propel himself from 52nd second now. He'll have his work cut out for him. He wants to get by the AM as they come around to five to go. with the 8M, rolls up on him as they come around on the front straightway. The question is, will Hahn have enough momentum to maybe pull a slide job here? Hanging right at about the same pace as Kate Morton, but not really able to get the run he needs. As the caution light's going to come on. As rain starting to come down, they have to go.